Today let's delve into a critical issue that highlights the ongoing struggles in Zimbabwe. Despite its historic fight for independence, Zimbabwe remains under a cloud of repression. On June 16, a date that's now etched in the minds of many political enthusiasts, ex-opposition minister Jameson Timba, along with 78 others, was arrested. Their crime? Simply holding a private meeting. Yes, you heard that right. A private meeting. This incident underscores a troubling reality. President Emerson Menengagwa's regime has been marked by the continuous violation of basic freedoms. The very essence of democracy is being choked. Zimbabwe citizens who once dreamed of freedom and equality find themselves living in fear. Jameson Timba isn't just any political figure. He's a former opposition minister, a symbol of hope and change for many Zimbabweans. His arrest sends a chilling message to anyone who dares to stand against the status quo. Imagine living in a place where gathering with friends or colleagues could land you in jail, where your voice is stifled and your rights are trampled on. This isn't just about one man or one meeting, it's about a systemic repression that affects an entire nation. The international community can't turn a blind eye to this. As political enthusiasts, it's our responsibility to stay informed and to raise our voices against such injustices. We must advocate for the people of Zimbabwe, for their right to speak, to gather, and to live without fear. So what's next for Zimbabwe? It's a question that lingers in the minds of many. The fight for true independence and democracy continues, and it's a fight that needs global attention. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's continue to shed light on the pressing political issues of our time. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.